Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. I'm the owner and founder of Spanish for Kiddos. And today I want to show you something special that happens every year between September and October, which is the Hispanic Heritage Month. And um, every year I create a fun activities that you can do in the classroom or in your homeschool group. And one of the things that I have here today is I have a few uh, cards of uh, famous Hispanics that have contributed to culture, arts, and literature, and even probably even music as well. And it's got those cards here as well. And then I'll show you here in a little bit how we can use this in, uh, in quite a few minutes. I also have these few banners here that we're gonna create as well. And this is a fun activity that you can do is actually, and uh, post probably in your classroom as well. So we're gonna begin with cutting those cards. And what I do is, I'm going to cut those around, and which I already did here just to save a little bit of time here. What you can do is uh, put them on a flat surface, and they don't have to in order with the, from what you had. And what I have is a key that's included with that free workbook that goes with the name and goes with the accomplishment that they had with Hispanic Heritage. So one of the things you can uh, randomly put those to the side, you cut these cards as well. You can flip them over like this and have them all mixed up. And so if you have, for example, uh, she collected more than 145,000 plant species across the US, Mexico, and South America. Well, you can go to your key here and find out that that is Ines Mexia which it will be in this next year right here. So you can um, do it there or you can do it here so that you can show your kiddos how to um, associate that particular Hispanic figure to what she contributed to uh, Hispanic culture. So you can do that there like this. And you can of course do it with all the other cards that I have here as well. And another way you can do this is instead of a matching, of course you can place these down and then flip them over. That's a fun activity too. You can also make like a cute bingo. For instance, if we had, let me find it again. Say if you have some different cards and you go around like this and then pick a card. Oops, <laughs> I don't mean to go this, uh, pick up the same card here again. But you go in here and you read, she's the first female chief scientist at NASA. So, and of course, and if you want to look who that is, that's Francis Cordova. And you can say, well, that's Francis Cordova right here. Okay. You can um, roll a die and see which one they would pick, for instance. Or you can do a little, uh, call it like a little bingo, for instance. Okay, who has Francis Cordova? And what did she do? How did she contribute to Hispanic culture? You can do it that way as well. So another fun activity is this right here and this is for um what i have here is more grade level so we're going through uh something that's more fun to something that's a little bit more writing and here we want to have something that the kiddos can think about reflect about what is hispanic heritage so hispanic heritage month means to me and what you can do is for instance you can say well it means to be a friend amigo or amiga you can write that in and they can draw a picture in here if they wanted to, what that means to them. And for instance, maybe they have someone in the classroom, maybe even your own teacher, maybe someone in the, in the school that has um, contributed to Hispanic heritage. And how would that mean into, uh, into a picture? Or they can put a family picture on here as well. I think that's a great idea too. You can do that as well. Another fun activity is these banners that I have here. And I have several colors here that you can choose from. I mean, you can, you can choose any colors that you wanted to. And then another one is these cards here that I come uh, with the workbook. What I did was I cut these out. Um, some of them have the, um, excuse me, the uh, US flag, and you can pick whatever flag represents probably your, your country of origin or however you want it to, to represent uh, what it means for you, Hispanic heritage. And one of the things you can do is put a little bit of glue. I'm gonna grab my glue here real quick. What it means for you to, to be. Um, in uh, Hispanic heritage 
and let's see i have a few more here maybe they're getting all stuck here and maybe if there's a particular food that actually is part of your heritage you can put that there as well you can do this as well and this doesn't have to be probably in any particular order that that you see fit you can do that as well and then um the kiddos can either write the name or they can actually write whatever they mean for them for hispanic culture and once you do that, and I have this already folded, you can fold this along the line there, like this, and then you can insert a piece of ribbon that you can go around like this, and then you can collect all the banners and then hang those up in your classroom, in your bulletin board. I think it's a great culture activity that the kiddos can get used to. Um, let me show you how this is gonna, gonna show real quick. So you're going to fall along this line here like this and then you're going to use just a little bit of glue that you're going to to use right there and then you're going to paste around the ribbon like this like that for instance and it's going to be all the way around so you can have that like this you can have for the next one however you see fit uh, within uh, of course within your classroom however many kids you have in your classroom or in your homeschool group okay so i hope that you enjoyed this activity i hope you give it a try there's different ways that you can do this that you can use this in your classroom um to allow more collaboration more cultural awareness everything that you you want to teach your kid is about hispanic heritage thank you so much for joining me today i hope you a wonderful day join me next time please subscribe so that you are aware when the next video comes up thank you so much for joining me today bye bye